Hey y'all, welcome to Silva Shop. So today um, we're gonna be working on the 49. And that's my 71 Harley Sportster. Finished that up a few years ago. Um, a story on that, maybe another video. But um, please like and subscribe if you like my videos. I'm just trying to help folks um, with videos that I can't find on YouTube already. They may be on there, but I like clarity and you know, like helping folks out. So please like and subscribe. Today we're gonna to be talking about tubbing out your bed. Anyway, so what's happening is I put some uh, wider tires. Actually, they were the same tires, but when I lowered the truck with the lowering blocks, I had the, um, the stainless molding that goes inside the uh, bed. That bolt came through right there and it chewed up my tires because they were wide in the back. <clears throat> so here's the trim strip out of the truck. And right here you see is that bolt hole that goes through. So the L bracket for this for the trim strip, there's an L bracket that comes here and it goes up and you can see kind of the outline there. And there's a couple other holes down along through and then there's holes that go through the bed to, to uh, attach it to the bed. So since um, there was some major rubbing going on and you can see a little bit of it right there, but I mean, it was tore up. I'll, I'll include a picture, a couple pictures of where it was rubbing. It was blatant. And plus, before this uh, bolt was taking out, it actually, on the passenger side, just chewed the tire up on the inside of it. I was unaware of it. I had to take the shop, um, t take the truck into the shop to get an alignment done. The guys had it on the lift because they were looking at some other stuff for me and noticed it. And I'm like, oh, so I had to get new tires and I had to do something about this. Now I could have raised the truck back up again, which I don't want to do because it's sitting perfectly the way I want it. The other way is to, you know, tub this out a little bit. So did some research and LS Fab makes these two and three quarter inch tubs. They also make four inch tubs. I didn't want to go into that second trim strip, so I got the two and three quarters. I honestly don't even need two and three quarters. I really need an inch. But they made these. They're $3.99 for a set. Um, here is the other one. And basically they come with this flange up here. They come with a flange down here. And on the other side, you know, they're, they're tubbed out, like I said, two and three quarters inch. D for drivers. Um, they are identical, so I didn't have to label them, but the measurements to the front and to the rear from the um, front of the bed to the corner are just like an eighth of an inch difference. And I wanted to make sure that I had them labeled to where I was measuring from and to. So this side, um, I already kind of got marked out. Um, I took off the, tr the uh, stainless um, trim strip. And when I did that, I uh, put the, the tub, the wheel tub up, basically like this one. And what I did was I looked while it was up there. Uh, let me go to the other side, sorry. And the, the camera probably won't do it just, but um, I looked at the axle I looked at the tub on the other side and I and I eyeballed it. I don't need it to be 
exactly flush or uh, center with the axle because I got plenty of room. It was just basically the top of the tire that was rubbing. And I've got plenty of, I didn't even need this height. So you can cut it down if you want to. I am not, I'm leaving it the way it is just because it looks nice. And um, what I plan to do is I'm going to take that flange around the top side and I'm gonna take the flange down here and I'm gonna bolt it into the wood floor and I'm gonna bolt it into the, um, the bed side. So I also, because there's a, there's a bolt right about here. Um, yeah, right about in there. Sorry for the, the blurriness. But anyway, it's for the fender bolt to go in. I'm gonna use that bolt hole, and that's another reason I went with this location, because I'm gonna use that bolt hole for not only the fender, but also for this tub. And so it's gonna be one. And then I'm gonna use the same type of bolts to go down each side of the flange and around to match everything. And this will also you know, be primered and painted. So what I did was I stuck it up there first and I took a pencil and I scribed around the outside of the flange. Once I did that, I took the, I took a compass or a, basically an etch, like a compass right here. And I could have used a pencil, probably should have used one, but you're not going to see it anyway. Um, and I wanted to scribe this, um, this width. This width is, per, I mean, it's plenty enough room for bolts to go through there. But instead of just going with that width, I went about a half an inch farther. So I'm well within that flange when I'm cutting. So I did that. So there you see on this side where I've got my outer line and you see that bolt hole up above. That's that fender hole that I'm gonna use for the top. And then you see the etched line on the bottom which is the bottom side of that flange, but actually it's about a half an inch more. And I'm probably not even going to cut up to that line. What I'll do is I'll cut inside of that line, you know, all the way down, and then I'll adjust accordingly. Once I get it fit in there or on there, then I can come back from the other side and trim it out. Same thing with the wood floor. Once I get this um, cut out here, I'll take the piece and I'll um, trim out on the wood body or the wood, wood floor what I need to trim away and I'll trim away that as well. So I'm going to cut this out and I'll be back. Okay y'all so I got the arch cut out, rough cut, and you'll see that I, I left a lip up here which I'm not really worried about right now. When I get the final stages done, I'll uh, trim it up more. But you can see here that the uh, tub is in place. And then what I did was I took a Sharpie, lined it up with my, um, I took the tub, lined it up in the inside of the bed with the original line that I made and um, took a Sharpie. And now I'm marking the wood around to where I'm gonna to have to cut the wood out for the bottom. And it looks as though that I'm gonna to have to cut into this bed brace as I'm going. And I might just shave this one off. It'll just be shaved off a bit. So not terribly much for that bed, bed um, rail. The other side, of course, is gonna look the same. It's up on the left right now, so. But basically got the arch cut out and um, working on now the flooring to cut out the flooring. Make sure you leave that flange there so that you can bolt the uh, tub into either the wood or to the side panel, the bedside. All right, here you go, y'all. So got everything cut out. I did smooth out the, uh, the inner edge there. Don't have as much of a lip as what I did when I first cut it. I still have an edge here on the wood and parts where I just need to sand down and even all that up. 
it's a little bit of a trick. The easiest way to do this is to take this piece out and either take a bandsaw or a uh, jigsaw and cut that part out that you need. Um, that's the easiest part. You got to take uh, the bed um, support off as well. It's probably about, well, right there it is. It's probably about a two inch, maybe even two and a half inches off. And I still got a little bit more to go. And I'll grind that back off. Um, I did try to jigsaw this from the top and come across and I did get most of it, but I did get into the frame just a little bit, skin the frame. Um, but anyway, it's looking pretty good. I think I mentioned this, I got these tubs um, from LS Fab but they're Dan Carpenter tubs and you can go to Dan Carpenter's website. I looked actually there first and you can get them cheaper through LS Fab right now. And that's where I got these at. Hey, if you like this, please like and subscribe. Um, you know, I appreciate any comments too. Hopefully this is helping. We'll continue on. Alright, so here's an update. Still working on this one side. Um, it's easier if you take this board out. I think I may have mentioned that, but I ended up taking it out. So I took this trim strip out, this one here, and of course the L. And I got it all pretty much cleaned up to where now I can, you know, bolt it in. Make sure when you do this that you're looking at your um, bracing underneath the bed and mark it like here's this mark or this brace. Mark it there, mark it there. And then also there's not going to be room really for a bolt um, to come through. So mark this area too here. That way when you're marking the actual wheel tub, you're not putting a hole in the wheel tub right in those areas or you know you won't be able to get a nut on it so i sanded this down it's not perfect because again i cut it while it was on it i'm taking the other one out before i cut it it's going to go a lot easier i can put it on the bandsaw or something and make it a lot easier but in any case i uh trimmed up the arch so now when I put the hub in place, and by the way, I put it to where this trim uh, stainless piece here is going to lock down. And I'll probably, I want to put, sorry, I'm going to put a hole here to bolt the, uh, the tub through. So it'll basically be, you know, tight down, tightened down there. Also what I did was I measured out accordingly when I had the board out and when I had the tub out where I wanted the holes to go. And I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes. And while I've got the board out, I most likely will go ahead and um, drill the holes through the wood as well. That way they'll line up and I've got it out, it's not creating any havoc for me trying to, to um, drill the holes.